In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenary's trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries Reloaded. What is up, everybody? Crimson Thunder here, and welcome to this replay through of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries, the Reloaded mod. It's been quite some time since I have done a mod where, I mean, um,. Any gameplay through from Mech Warrior 5 through the campaign, there has been quite a bit of some time where I have been too busy with other stuff that I ended up um, doing. Now that I'm because I have recently left my uh, my job and I'm now in the process of getting back into my YouTube channel quite a bit. So th we're gonna start finally start this new playthrough. There's a lot of stuff, new stuff that has been added with the Reloaded mo uh, mod that we have that was sent by a fan that actually makes a lot of this better. There are other mods that I have here as well, but pretty much things are the same. Commander Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. Also the note that I am using a hands-on throttle stick, and I'm actually going to be using that when I'm inside the battle mech, unfortunately, I, it's going to also be my house. The story is so far just the same. Here's Captain Nikolai. There you are. With Come the, on, everyone's with waiting. Victor get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar, and we'll get started. I wish we had more stuff like this in the actual game. But hopefully more mods will come up. Got a Shadowhawk there. And there's a Centaur Centurion. One of the things that they ended up doing is rescaling all the all the mechs in this game with this mod too, to make shit more appropriate for its mass. Son, Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, way. Eh? He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. This part's the same. We Good. Online. Bod. Sensors online. Yeah, this is bring this up a mod, uh, this little uh, 3D uh, HUD is a mod. Up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. 
Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Alright, so... Throttling off with my, my stick. Look at her go, right? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? So I'm, not gonna, is. I'm not gonna talk too much during this Okay, uh, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Go ahead and try auto-aligning the torso with your legs. Excellent. Now move your torso to the left or right, then try aligning your legs with the torso this time. Override engaged. Oops. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Oi, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I've spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Captain Mason. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. more about this uh, the vision stuff later. Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey. Always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight. It could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. All right, 
That's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group 3. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. Target. It makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Also, override engaged. When he says that when it comes to the overheat, uh, overheating can trigger a shutdown, you can press the O key on your Target keyboard acquired. to override the shutdown. Be very careful about doing that because if you overheat and with this enabled, you can actually damage the structure and possibly destroying it. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. So for now, I'm going to dis to disable it because you should not be using it unless you're, unless you're in the most desperate situation ever. Target acquired. Target destroyed. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, this 3D HUD is one of those mods that was inspired by the pre-alpha stage of the, of the mod actually provides something a little bit different. The layout is, uh, is a little different as you can Target probably acquired. see. You got the weapons scattered everywhere else and the heat and well, your speed nice are Now take are up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs? <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. And in this mod, destroying one of the legs will enable a permanent limp. Unlike in the other game, in the other vanilla game where it, it could go to half its speed, which made no sense. Target. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. Target acquired. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head to head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you.
target acquired. seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. Back to the base. We'll buy Pod a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. Captain Mason, my senses are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. Uh, I'm showing over a dozen bogies. Captain, I think we're under attack. Uh, I think so. Let's go. We need to get back to the base. to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. I'll catch up with you. Now go! Commander, the base is under heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Uh, yeah. Copy that. Okay, got the We've come for the coordinates. We know you have them. Give them to us, and your family is safe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Is that really the way you want to play this? Seriously? Listen to her, Nikolai. It'd be a shame to have to kill your only son over what? A set of numbers. You've done your research, I see. But you're too late! Set in those set of numbers look something a little important. Now.
had to. Welcome to Mech Warrior 5. So the plot, basically, the plot is, is part of the plot in the beginning is that we now uh, have lost our father in in a battle while we're getting off of the the space off of Tiberi. Commander, sorry to wake you, but our sitrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. Commander, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna, are as close as I have now. Besides, I'm going to need you. Yes, I suspect you will. About our Citrep, it's not great news. Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system, which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit, by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. I'm first things first, we need transport out of the system. Cash. That means a jump ship. Maybe. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Uh, of course, our Centurion is all screwed up. Hey, mate. Figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning. It's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay One for now. She's a good girl. Won't let you down, you treat her, right? I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill. Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Uh, yeah, this Centurion is pretty screwed up, if I, if I say so. One of the things I really like about this game is that they did they actually put so much detail into into like post battle where they actually uh, show this in any of these battle mech conditions. That part hasn't changed. I already know. Looks like part of this mod Im involves a bunch of en now we got engines, we got shock absorbers. Reinforced arm over here. Looks like this uh, this will decrease the damage from incoming fire by 10%. The left arm has nothing in it, so we use that as a shield arm, as the Centurion is designed to do. Alright, keep that. 
looks like we don't have anything else right now. like everything's going to be fixed here and it's going to take 4.46 days yeah I guess we'll get used to uh, used to the um, just this javelin for now it's actually a fire javelin hey commander I've received a transmission. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system, but it's going to take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. All right, so now we will go ahead and Accept this mission. Base fails a fixed uh, amount that you'll receive regardless of the seat bills. If you succeed, the seat bill payout can, can be negotiated. An additional uh, paid if you complete its objectives. Some of the base payout is added together with the potential payout below. Salvage shares is, are used after the fighting to claim a metal mech, uh, a mech weapon equipment salvage in the battlefield. The more valuable the salvage, the more shares it will cost. Damage coverage is the insurance that is paid out to, to cover the uh, repair cost of damage, uh, suffered damage in this particular contract. Okay, so I think I for now, since we really don't ha uh, have the stuff that we really need, let's just go with our, let's just go with our seatbelt payout. We have a jet, we have the fire javelin pilot uh, here, so unfortunately it's not gonna, it's not gonna do us much good right now, but unlike from from the previous, our loading times are so much faster because I've gotten much better hardware. I'll put this, my specs in the description below. power station is located on the other side of the ridge. You should be able to make your way through the pass undetected. Copy that. Good hunting, Commander.
That javelin you're piloting is lightly armed, Commander. But what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. Good try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have the Centurion. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. Yeah. And one thing, there's also a mod that really significantly uh, makes better jump jets. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Okay, but while we're out here... I think I'll just primary weapon the group one. being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. But you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess? The raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target destroyed. Target acquired. There we go. Target acquired. Target. Perfect. With the generator blown, the turret should be disabled now. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. <sighs> That's still going to destroy some of the stuff. Oh, well. So this particular mod allows also has thermal vision, which can be total with your H key. I have a total uh, total for my map. It actually can, does show the enemies that are that have heat signatures. Okay, there's the geothermal power plants up ahead. There's a number of storage buildings in and around the plant itself. I suspect that's where they're storing their loot. Time to smash and grab, Commander. Once you locate the storage crate, mark it for pickup, then move on to the next building. From my initial scans of the site, I've marked where I think the crates could be located. Look there first. Darn it. Roger that. Destroyed. That's destroyed. Target acquired. Okay, now that we got that one down, let's go ahead and so there. jump jet fuel low. Jump this jet actually, fuel empty. This actually feels like an actual jump jet.
Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. I wish there was more of these in this mission. Okay, got it. Keep looking. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Jump jet fuel empty. Yeah, because in the original game, these jump jets don't don't really do much. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Jump jet fuel, empty. Oh, shit. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a radar patrol. Copy. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Destroyed. The leg structure's damaged. No, just gotta be a little careful now. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target acquired. Destroyed. Target destroyed. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Okay, so now that that's Jump jet fuel empty.
Oh, I think I remember now. Yeah, there we go. It's probably here. Yep, there it is. Forgot there was a third one here. All right, that should do it. Go ahead and meet me at the exfiltration point. If you see anything worth blowing up on your way out, say a weapons depot or something, I want objects. <laughs> Understood. Like that. teach them a lesson. Now get to the exfil point and I'll pick you up. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Okay, I'm not gonna take too much damage to actually be screwing around any further. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. New target acquired. Take a couple of medium lasers. So every time we have a mission, we and we use skills and such, we end up getting our skills increased. So we have 122 in damages and 265 now. Hey, boss, mate. That was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now. But don't go getting stalls in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this shit needs a lot of loving, eh? Hey? So your Centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. But yeah, like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. Now, if there's nothing else, gonna get back at it. All right, lot of work to do. Story of my life. Yeah, unfortunately, I've taken a beating up there. Good work with those raiders, Commander. While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Rihanna, Commander. Good news. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So, think about what you want to call yourselves. 
While I arrange that, you're going to have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Things go well. They've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already reviewed the information Spears sent. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these raiders have been harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Roger that. I'll see you on the other side. Unfortunately, it seems that one of the weapon heats at the yeah, loadout. Oh, we got a spare heat sink at least. I've got a bit of a scorch, uh, some scorch marks on my, on my, on the leg. We really can't do much other than, other than that. Just gives us some time to, to wait. And we are ready to go. Attention. Prepare for battle like departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems, All systems phenomenal. Okay, Commander. We know very little about these raiders' overall strength or sheer numbers. So keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement. Copy that. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. There's the settlement of our right, commander. So now we're Looks going like to make the raiders have already begun their attack. Get in there the and others. protect those civilians. Ah, crap. Don't. On my way. Please help us. The raiders are attacking our settlement. There are women and children here. Rihanna, something's interfering with my sensors. I think the raiders have set up some sort of jamming device nearby. I'll see if I can locate it. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. 
Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Sorry. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. New target acquired. Commander, the settlement is taking significant damage. You need to clear out these raiders, now. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target acquired. Destroy. Target acquired. Target. Nice work. Got it. These civilians are safe for the moment. Unfortunately, it appears the Raiders aren't done causing trouble just yet. They're headed for the company's main processing facility on the other side of the mountain. You need to get there and thwart that attack, Commander. Understood. There we go. Much better. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. My sensors are getting worse. The jamming device the Raider set up is at the top of this pass, Commander. You're going to have to manage as best you can until you're able to take it out. Jamming it things over there. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target. Okay. With that jamming device eliminated, your sensors should have cleared up. Yeah, much better. Your onboard radar should also be operational now. You'll be able to detect enemies at a significant distance. Just in time, too. That mining facility is getting hit hard, Commander. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Jump jet fuel low. Target acquired. There's the facility. Destroy those radar units. Target. Roger that. 
You made it! We need your help! The Raiders are trying to destroy our facility! It's all we have! Target destroyed. Target acquired. A lot of SRM carriers. Destroy. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel low. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Destroy. Target acquired. Okay, now we got a light tank. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Commander, the mining facility can't take much more damage and still remain operational. You need to eliminate the Raider threat. Working on it, Rihanna. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. New target acquired. Target. Enemy VTOLs inbound on your position, Commander. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Alright, they're VTOL warriors, so let's... Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target acquired. Destroyed. Jump jet fuel low. Target acquired. Jump jet fuel empty. Target. Good work, Commander. That should make the mining company happy. Prepare for exfil. I'm on my way. Alright, now that's done. At least it did a little bit better this time. I think I'll go with a... Auto Ken 5 and an hour. Level up my web energy weapons, so now they do more damage when I fire. Okay, now. Commander, it turns out the bastards who attacked us and who have set up the blockade are a mercenary outfit by the name of Black Inferno. Unfortunately, that's about all we know at the moment. 
Spears and I will try to dig up more information if we can. The time will come when we can extract some proper vengeance. But right now, we have more pressing concerns. Inferno forces are closing in on our location. That means we only have a small window in which to fulfill our obligations to the mining company and haul ass out of here. The company wants us to take down the raiders for good by destroying their base of operations. Once that's done, they'll arrange passage for us aboard the inbound jump ship. I've detailed the mission briefing and it's waiting for your sign off. You're free to launch whenever you're ready, Commander. Roger that. Centurion is ready. Hey, boss man. From what Rihanna says, the next is gonna be a bit of a doozy. Good thing I got the Centurion fit and ready to go. So, eh? She's got plenty of firepower, especially compared to the Javelin. In case you want an upgrade, I thought you should know. You're welcome, by the way. Happy to your service. Anything I can do to help him get a sales off bleeding ice cube, mate? Know what I mean? Alright, that's it. Talk to you later. Take down. Take a little bit, because I'm only bringing this. I'm bringing the Centurion. Might as well get that javelin ready while we're at it. Now the centurion, now that the centurion is ready to go, we can actually do some proper damage. Attention. Prepare for battle -like departure. Warning. Hangar door is opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. Here we go. These raiders are taking down our murderers and thieves, Commander. Don't show them any mercy. I don't show mercy. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Target acquired. That's it. Exactly. I've got enemy contacts up ahead, Commander. They must have detected us on the way in. Well, that dropship took care of that pretty Why did these weapon groups get, get reset? Target the shield arm. Target destroyed. Eagle inbound, Commander. Keep an eye out above you. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Alright, now that that's gone. Target 
destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Destroyed. Don't mess with the friggin' Centurion. There's the raid base. Eliminate all enemies and raise it to the ground, Commander. All right, sounds Copy like that. that. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. have been eliminated. Time to finish destroying that base, Commander. Target destroyed. All right, that's it. Now get to the extraction zone. All right, let's go. Roger that. That's basically one of those just demolition jobs. Okay. Centurion. 
Ukraine's okay for now. I don't want to take any more. I'm damage. picking up additional enemy units headed Ooh. your way, Commander. Watch out. Spider. Looks like these raiders somehow got their hands on a spider mech. It's fast but lightly armored. Avoid letting it get behind you. Copy that. Target acquired. Yeah, in the in the vanilla, they would not be able to jump like that somehow. It's like the programmers forgot. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Now, deal with the spider. Now spiders are lightly armored, but they're very fa and lightly armored, armored, but they're very fast and maneuverable. New target acquired. I'm shooting at him. There goes his arm. There goes his leg. That he Commander, get to the extraction point, and I'll pick you up. All right, now, th now that's done, we'll he head back to base. But luckily for us, we don't have any internal structure damage, though. When we get out of the mech, we can probably see how badly our mech has been chewed up and such. We got about 25 rounds of of AC-10 ammo left, and about 680 shots of. Say it, it possibly might be a little excessive for a mech warrior standards, but I'm not gonna complain too much. Hey, why not? Pick up the guard tower. But nobody knew. Nobody knew. Alright, let's get out of here. And I think we'll do one more, the one, one more mission before we actually call this a video. This will basically be all the early stages, and then we get into the actual core of the game. Got a bunch of rep. Yeah. 
That little, that spider mag might be small, but it's also fast. Excellent work taking it out. Thanks to you, the Raider forces have all been eliminated and their infrastructure destroyed. Best of all, I heard you back with Spears. Munko couldn't be happier with our efforts as they expedited the transport contract aboard, uh, aboard the jump ship. We're about to begin the second life. Decades ago, this planet was the epicenter of a mining gold rush. Of course, it wasn't the gold the miners were after, but the Rotom. It was a boom, but then, but then bust for most of the companies, which means there were a lot of abandoned infrastructure left behind. Once these modern locations uh, is where the raiders were currently holed up, you can expect a larger enemy presence than we saw at the power plant, Commander. You need to eliminate all of them and destroy as much of the infrastructure as possible. I want they want to be put out of the goods. Give them hell. Hey there, Guff. I hear we finally got a name for these bastards who've been chasing us down. Black Bloody Inferno, eh? Yeah. Well, that's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? You know what a Black Inferno is? It's bloody smoke, mate. All right, then. Nice chat. Gonna get back to work now. Huh. So the Centurion here has been... has taken a little bit of an armor beating. But all the limbs and the structure is all good. And that's kind of what we want. Won't take, t won't take too long. Hi, Commander. Thanks to your efforts, the mining company have kept their word and booked us transport on a jump ship. Spears has also obtained a new mercenary ID number. So, all we need to do now is choose a new name for our merc outfits, and we're good to go. I'll leave that up to you. Once you've registered the new name, come back and see me. Will do. All right, so. Unfortunately, I don't understand why we cannot change our logo, but oh well. Okay, Commander. Everything is set for our departure. The transport contract with the mining company is a false flag Spears and I set up with their cooperation. The mining company has legally hired us to transport cargo for them. But in reality, there is no cargo. Just a destination and some very convincing paperwork. So, where are we headed? We've been asked by Spears to help him out of a jam. I think we owe him. I agree. What's he need us to do? Spears works for Interstellar Expeditions, one of the largest archaeological collectives in the Inner Sphere. They do archaeological digs and conduct research into abandoned Star League era facilities in the pursuit of lost technology from before the Succession Wars. Lost one of the expedition's dig sites has come under attack. A rogue mercenary group is intent on pillaging a Star League supply depot that IE uncovered on Brooklyn Prime. We're going in to help protect the site. Spears will provide more detailed information on what exactly we're facing once we arrive. For now, I've uploaded the coordinates into the nav system. Before we can launch, you need to sign off on the op and get us to the system. Roger that. Let's get out of here. Docking with the jump ship.
We'll worry about the paint job later. So this should be the last mission of the early st uh, stages of the game. So now the next thing we gotta do is that we're going to be assisting another pilot down there. To over up at this deck. So we're, now we're landing in Brooklyn. Warning. Hangar door is opening. Stand clear. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All, All systems, systems are phenomenal. phenomenal. Here we go, Commander. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into. I'm picking up one friendly, just ahead of your current position. Unidentified enemy units engaging. Copy that. New target acquired. Target acquired. Ah, damn it, that blackjack's gone. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target. Good work. Got it. Proceed to the dig site. Looks like the hostiles have launched another attack wave. Roger that. On the move. Yeah, that doesn't seem pretty good. Another friendly under attack, Commander. Straight ahead. Thank God. Pick a target and have at them. I could use that. Oh, that's a lot of VTOLs. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. You guys needed some reinforcements. That's an understatement. My entire lance was wiped out. They came down on us like a ton of bricks, out of nowhere, wave after wave. Been holding them off as best I can, but I don't think I could have held out much longer. Well, we're here now, and we've got your back. I appreciate that. Seriously. Can't tell you how good it is to see some friendly faces. We still need to protect this site. 
Copy that. But they'll be coming back soon enough. Like I said, they attack in waves, and they haven't shown any signs of letting up. I saw some defensive turrets. Those should help. Yeah, I set them up when they started digging. There's a turret generator close by, up on the hill. It cycled off after the third or fourth wave hit us. It's still off at the moment. You want to try cycling it back on? I'll watch your six. Sure thing. Hostile contacts, inbound. Looks like a mix of airborne and enemy armor, Commander. Target acquired. There's a lot, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of helicopters. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Turrets are now online and active, Commander. That should help, so... This is Target away. destroyed. Target acquired. Target, Target destroyed. destroyed. There's, another, there's gotta be another one nearby. I remember in the in this game there's two of them on this on this particular level. So what we gotta do is go find the other one. Target acquired. Target destroyed. You cannot have that SRM carrier get near me. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Cycle on the second turret generator. Okay, I'm on it. Multiple hostiles converging on your location, Commander. I'm picking up 10, 12 bogies this time. I told you, these guys never quit. Yeah, they never quit. There's the second generator. I'm turning that on. Target acquired. Holy shit, there they come. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Right. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Why 
Where's our friendly though? Where's our friendly though? Oh, he's over there. Target acquired. Target acquired. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. System offline. Target acquired. Target Enemy dropship approaching, Commander. Looks like they're bringing in the heavy guns. Uh -oh. The circle of eight has laid claim to this site. It's ours. There's no shame in admitting defeat, my friend. Leave now, and we'll spare your lives. You've been warned. Fight us and die. Son of a bitch. They're fielding two medium mechs. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Let's go get them. There's an assassin and a griffin. Now the griffin has long range weaponry, so if we just get up in its face and blow up its right arm, it's pretty much useless. And the assassin... Target not, acquired. not so much. It's more... It's, the assassin... All right, she's offline.
Still got plenty of ammo left and light armor damage. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that had to. Ooh, that reactor's failing. Careful. If you always stay away from those uh, re, uh, reactor uh, explosions Jumper like down. that, they will damage anything hey, nearby. Commander, just wanted to say thanks for the rescue. Things were getting pretty grim before you showed up. I lost some good friends today. Good pilots. I don't think I could have held out much longer myself if you hadn't dropped in. I appreciate it. I'm glad we were able to help. Just wish we'd gotten here sooner. Me too. You know, we could always use another pilot. One with your skills, he'd come in awful handy. What do you think? After today? Hell, it'd be an honor to serve with you, Commander. Then consider it done. Welcome aboard. And that's we get it. And that's the and now we get Lieutenant Freeman and that Jenner. Now we have a familiar. There's the Jenner that we get. Grab some jump, some spare jump jets for it. Pretty light damage. That was some flight commander, although you managed to make us up a new pilot. Nice work. Having another pilot on board will certainly help our cause. He's a bit of a worse for wear, but that's not surprising, especially considering he's what he's been through. Don't worry, I'll make sure he gets settled in. As for the dig site, been secured and the newly arrived reinforcements should ensure its continued protection. When you had a chance to clean up, come see me at the bridge and we'll talk about the future. doesn't usually let me down. Here is our Jenner that we had just recently acquired. Plus there's that Javelin that we also have piloted as well. Hi Commander. Excellent work protecting that dig site. Spears thinks you did a hell of a job. A chip off the old block were his exact words. Referring to your father of course. That's quite the compliment coming from him. As you know, your father and Spears did a lot of work together over the years. Proved quite lucrative too, for both of them. Hopefully, we can continue that relationship. Let's hope so. But we need more than one client if we're gonna survive out here. That's what I wanted to talk with you about. Our next move. We're operating with a clean slate now, thanks to the new mercenary ID number Spears provided. A whole new name, new outfit. 
Now we need to get to work rebuilding our capabilities and establishing our reputation. Won't be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You up for it? What do you think? I think we better get started then. Plenty of war zones in the inner sphere where we can pick up work. A few safe harbors as well. Places we can hire more pilots, get our hands on cheap supplies. First, we need to earn some sea bills to pay for it all. Other than that, I see a bright future ahead of us, Commander. Me too. Speaking of the future, we have a pending transmission from IE already. Seems Spears has put the word out to his colleagues that we can be trusted to get the job done. Before diving right in, I recommend we head to one of the industrial hubs in this region. Pockets of relative stability where we can acquire new equipment and mechs, hire new pilots. We have more mechs than mech warriors at the moment, so it would be good to expand the ranks. Repairs are cheaper in these regions too. Either way, I've marked the location of the IE contract on the star map. It's there whenever you're ready. Roger that. Thanks, Rihanna. You're welcome, Commander. And that's also really important what she just said too, because as you'll probably look over here, I already know how to play this. We're in a war zone over here, and over here is where we end up, is where, where these industrial zones are. We are always going to be taking more, um, we'll, a, we'll always be doing more um, expensive repairs in certain in certain zo um, zones. So the Barry is where we ended up getting a thing out of. But if we also look around here, these are also where we end up having all of those markets and such. This we prefer. If you ever wanted to end up repairing the mechs and do, and do some uh, finding stuff on the market, that's where you want to do. I mean, stuff is also here, but we don't have a... We don't really have too much any uh, funds, so... And as she said, we have more uh, battle mechs right now than pilots, so... Expanding our, our group uh, right now is probably for the best. But we'll get more into it next time. So we have. So right now, before we, uh, I'm not gonna repair the Centurion right here. Eh. As a matter of fact, we'll just we'll just actually go to Haynesville. It'll, it won't cost much. So we'll go out here, and we'll also get some, find out what we have in the system. Ooh, Shadowhawk. Ah, it's, it's not the one that, it's the one with more hard points, but this one has a problem with armor. So I'm not going to actually get this, plus can't afford any of this stuff anyway. Uh, if we actually go Prepped to the ready, Commander. Ready for action. Nice job, ship. Prepped and ready, Commander. What? Ready for Prepped and ready, Commander. Let's see. Prepped and ready, Commander. We got some other um, stuff. There are captains uh, for, but now that looks like the lieutenants. Prepped and ready, Commander. So what I would do is I'll pick which one has the Prepped and ready, Commander. Best one, and unfortunately they're not very good pilots. But at the, at the most, they'll do so. You also want to take into consideration their skills. So here we want to do something that doesn't have to do ballistics. Prepped and ready, Commander. Won't let you down, Commander. I've trained for this. So we'll just do that. Prepped and ready, Commander. And we'll hire one spare one. But I don't want to really actually do this one because you won't be able to uh, he's gonna end up uh, having a lot of problems with, uh, his sh with the shooting once we get into, into the game more it's gonna end up becoming more of a um, there'll be better pilots I also have the, uh, an AI mod that doesn't make them completely idiots which is a must have so let's see now, this, now that we're in an industrial hub, 
these repairs will be much less expensive and it takes a and it's a lot faster that's why I ended up doing so Shadowhawks are uh, depending on them uh, is pretty good but I prefer the 2H model compared to the 2D just because of the fact that the 2H has a uh, has a lot better armor. Not as much firepower, but not but all it has is just an ex this has just has an extra SRM2 and an extra medium laser on its other arm, but it loses about five tons of armor, and that's usually not a very and I don't really like that trade-off. But it's but overall they're very versatile. But anyway, that's I think we've gone on for long enough. With the recording is about an hour and 45 minutes, so we'll cut it here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'm Crimson Thunder.